Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through a song by the Nixons called Sister. And if you want to strum along with the recording, actually, you'll need to tune down your guitar by a half step. So you actually have to go to the tuners and loosen them up to get to E flat and B flat and G flat and D flat and A flat and E flat. And I do have another video, actually, that's kind of a capo version if you just don't want to retune your guitar. But but we're going to start out on a G major chord. When we play G major, first finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now, another G major you may want to think about is where you take the third finger from there and go to the B string on the third fret, and take the pinky and go to the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that's another way you can play G major. And then from the G major on our verses, we're going to be going to a D major chord. When we play D major, first finger goes to the G string on the second fret. Second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major on our intro and our verse, we're going to go to an E minor chord. Let me tell you, minor. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, and it sounds really sad. Now, a lot of times for E minor too, you can substitute in something called E minor 7 take your third finger and kind of add him in on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string on the third fret, and that might be a little bit cool, so then you'll have kind of an anchor finger on with the third finger from the G to the D to the E minor, so if you start down, that's a cool way to do it. Now a lot of times with a song like this though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern, and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up, so we took the G and just tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, G. Pre-chorus starts on an A minor chord, and we play A minor. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, the second finger goes to the D on the second fret, and third finger goes to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger stays on the D string second fret, and the third finger goes to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major. Now, another chord, or another C chord, you may want to think about using is something called C major 9, where you do the first finger on the D string second, second finger on the A string third, third finger on the B string on the third, and the pinky on the high E string on the third. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major 9. And randomly for the A, you may also think about using something called A7 sus, where you could do first finger on the D string second, second finger on the G string second, and leave the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E string third. And that might be kind of a cool substitution for the A. So we try our pre-course with our strum pattern. We have A down, up, up, down, up, C. And if you want to kind of work that as kind of a down or just carry the down, down, up, up, down, up. Or there are points in the tune where you may want to just kind of make big build-ups using down strings. Kind of down, 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 down. And then from there, then we go into our verse again. Now one other thing I would think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the G, you can do the low E for your bass and then keep your down, up, up, down. And then on your D chord, you have the D string for your bass. On the E minor, you have the low E string for your bass. On the A minor, we have the A string for the bass. And on the C chord, we have the A for the bass. So we try that next verse with kind of a bass, down, up, up, down, up. We have G with low E bass, down, up, up, down. Bass down up, up down G minor three. Bass down up, up down G minor three. Bass down up, up down G with three. Bass down up, up down G with a D. Bass down up, up down G minor three. Bass down up, up down G minor three. Bass down up, up down up. And then if we tried that idea through our next pre-chorus, we'd have A minor with an A bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down up. And then from there we'd be going into our chorus part. Try that bass down, up, up, down through our chorus. A chorus with our bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have G with the bass down, up, up, down, D with the D bass down, up, up, down, A minor with the D 
base down up, up down to the D base down up, up down to the E base down up, up down to the D base down up, up down up, and then from there we'd be going back into our verse part. Now one other thing I would think about adding to this song though is, is a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the B, right now our down, down, up, up, down, it divides that into two parts. So one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the G and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So all together, you'd have down. First finger across the entire second fret, third finger on the A string, fourth fret, pinky on the on the D string on, on the fourth fret. And then show all those together, that sounds like an F sharp minor chord. Now another option for that though would be playing a D slash F sharp to kind of get the bass note in on it. And the way you play D slash F sharp, first finger goes to the low E string on the second fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the high E second fret, pinky on the B string on the third fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds like D slash F sharp. Another way you could play that is to kind of do the D major and then take your thumb and go over the low E string on the second fret. Or another way to do it is to kind of use something called D sus slash F sharp, where you do first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G string second, third finger on the B string third, and the pinky on the high E string third. So kind of digging on the drone voices, that might be a cool option too. And then from there we go to G, and then we go back to E minor. C, and then an A minor, and then we end up with kind of a C's with a really big build up at the very, very end. So we tried our bridge with a bass down, up, up, down. The weird part is that D slash F sharp or the F sharp minor would have the low E string for the bass. So we tried it that way, we'd have E minor the bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, D slash F sharp or F sharp minor. that with our 16th pattern, we'd have E minor the bass, down, down, up, down, 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 down
Strum through Sister by the Nixons. So good luck! <laughs> 